This video is a short demonstration of how to set up a new system in Image 3.0. I'm using a CMD hard drive for this demonstration with partitions 1, 2, and 3 containing the BBS files. Partition 4 is set for the message boards and partition 5 is set aside for uploads and downloads. I have CMD FD4K drives as 9, 10, and 11. To begin, load boot 3.0,8,1. Press 1 to configure a new BBS. At the SysApp information screen, enter your handle, your first name, your last name, your email address, and your password. Press return. The clock setting screen allows you four choices for setting your image time during boot up. In my case, I'm using CMD device number 9. Part 3 will set your image drives to the device and drive settings that you configured your files to. Part 4, enter the information about your board. At this point, the BBS will create all the files that it needs to run. This message will appear and ask you to hit any key. Enter either 0 or 1 for the RS-232 device type that you're using. I'm using a swift link so I entered 1. The GBS will then begin the boot up process. As soon as boot up is complete, the board will run auto maintenance. Hit the F7 key to log on. Enter I for instant. Enter your password. Enter your time zone. Turn the more prompt off with the MP command. Enter IM to go to the configuration menu. Enter I for miscellaneous features. Enter G for time zone. Set your time zone. Enter J for system ID. Enter your system ID. This could be any two letters. Enter N to quit, then enter J for modem config. Enter B to set up a new system. Enter 1. Enter yes. Yes. 
enter the brand name of your mo modem. The author. Enter, just hit enter. Set your baud rate. Use escape, hang, hang up. Auto answer, H, H, zero, H, one, N, one, one, zero. The modem configuration should look something like this. If anything needs to be changed, enter the number corresponding to the item that you wish to change. Next, enter H for light bar alarms. A for light bar deaths. And go to page four. If you're using the Super CPU, Enter 5, enter 13 and 14 to set up your modem for proper operation. Enter quit and save changes. The BBS should have all the information it needs now to be able to take calls. You can go ahead and log off. In order for your board to be able to receive calls from the internet, you'll need to set up a DNS service and port forwarding to your computer that's handling your BBS server or TCP server, whichever one you are using. I hope this information was helpful and I hope you enjoy the software as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.